wash away our sins. Hey, let me tell you, if they put it in a bottle and they sold it, it wouldn't stay on the shelf. <laughs> They'd be people trying to stop pilot. They'd be people just trying to, hey, fight over it and steal over it and buy as much of it as they can. But you tell them it's a free gift. But they have to keep that applied to their life with the stick that they have got to lay down their life. That they've got to take up their cross. They've got to follow after him. You tell them that. Most of them don't want to do it. Oh, but if it's something you can just go out and buy and that'd be done with it. They'd sure do it. Hey, they'd finance their home if they had to. They'd take a second note out on them. They'd go right down to the bank and get as much of that money as they could go buy it. But it's such a precious thing. The Lord let us kind of touch on that last night, how, how it ain't like a mineral anywhere on this planet that you can go dig it up somewhere on the far side of the planet. Go down into some coal mine or some mine. You know, we're from up in the hills of Kentucky. I know you guys got mines and so on around here. But man, they got mines that where they will chase that mineral back into them mountains for miles. Yeah. Hey, anybody let me tell you they will chase that, but let me tell you, hey, the blood of Jesus is much more precious than that. Yes. Yes. Hey, you can't dig deep enough to find it. No. You can't have enough money to buy it. But yet it's a free thing. Without it, we'll have to the only thing that can wash away our sins. You couldn't find it? I could find it. It just won't go up here. It won't go up here? Well, well, praise the Lord anyway.
so let's give him something to come into. Let's enter his courts with praise and thanksgiving. Hey, let me tell you, God is merciful and he is kind. Amen. And I know, hey, that he is well able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can think or ask for. Yes. Hey, he has showed me time and time again. Hey, so many times I think that I've got things in control. Hey, he showed me that I don't got things in control. Oh, but he showed me that he does got things in control. Oh, hallelujah, the Lord is good, and he? he is merciful and gracious. There is none like him. Hey, he has never let me down. You know, I feel led to, to share this. I felt the Lord here so strong last night, but he was just, I don't know how it was out there, but up here he was for water to swim in. He was good. I enjoyed it so much. Let me tell you, he was just like I told you he'd be. I went home, buddy, and just couldn't sleep a week. Just laid there in my bed, just looking and just talking to the Lord. Hey, it wasn't just me, but I got up about 3 o'clock this morning because I couldn't go to sleep. And there was this little fella right here. He was on the couch. He was in there too, just waiting, just smiling. Hey, yeah. let me tell you, my wife stood in line for her mother. That's got a, some type of arthritis that binds her. In fact, that's why she hadn't been able to come, but she came up and stood in the prayer line last night. And let me tell you how the Lord moved in that. She said if she had to go to the doctor and get these shots, she called this morning and talked to, talked to my wife. She said, I don't know what them doctors give me. But, buddy, it wound me up so tight I couldn't get in the bed about 3 o'clock this morning. I said, buddy, that wasn't, that wasn't a bad doctor. That was a great physician. Because we stood in line, and I know that the Lord moved. I felt Him moving that. Amen. I know His hand ain't short. His ears ain't dull of hearing. Of hearing. He know she's an early bird, too. She's one of them kind. She goes to bed with the chickens, and she's up with the chickens. But she said, I couldn't sleep last night. And usually she, I've seen her do it time and time again. She'll get up. She'll go out to her chair and, 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 and sit down in her chair and, and then she bless her heart whenever her arthritis flared up, she's there most of the day. Until, you know, because she has to get up and do things or, or whatever. But but she said that she got up. She said long about that time she seen that she couldn't sleep. She said her eyes were wide open. And she said that she was up walking the floor all night long. Hey, buddy. Whereas before she couldn't do that. Yeah. She couldn't do that. So hey, let me tell you, hey, God is able to move in this place. He, this might just be a little old Tim, but let me tell you, God is in this place. Amen. Hey, it ain't about the church. It ain't about the building. It ain't about the, the size of the building. It ain't about how pretty it looks on the outside, is it? Amen. Hey, it, come, it, it comes down to getting serious one-on-one -on -one with God and getting humble with God, and then, yeah. hey, He will hear us from heaven. Yeah. Hey, he will answer our cries and our prayers. It is when we humble ourselves before Him. Hey, He is able to do something. When we say, Lord, what do you want us to do? Hey, whenever we use our, whenever we make ourselves a, a willing and presentable vessel to Him, yeah, yeah. then He can use us. Amen. 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 We might be few in numbers here tonight. I don't know. Hey, I know the Lord has got things lined up that we don't even know about. Like I was just telling you last night, that was something we didn't even see. I didn't find that out until this morning. But I know it was the Lord. I know it was the Lord. In fact, the Lord said, I started reading over in the book of John about how this was, in the book of John, it says that this was Jesus' second miracle he performed. This was right after the wine that he turned, the water he turned to wine. This is right after that. There was a man that heard about Jesus, heard that he was there, and he came to him. He said, my son is deathly sick. and You, you need to come to my house and, 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 and heal him. He said, if you don't come, he's going to die. And Jesus said, Jesus told him, he said, that you almost have to see signs and wonders to believe. He said, why don't you just go ahead and go on home? Now I'm just paraphrasing him. He said, he'll be all right. He'll live. He'll be okay. And he, he turns around and he goes on home and as he's on his way home, he meets with one of the servants from his house that was coming to find him. He says, buddy, the fever broke. Hey, your son is going to be all right. Hey, he's getting better and better. Hey, buddy, and then he said, well, what time did that happen? And he told him about the time and it was about the same hour. Hey, that the, that the Lord said, hey, that he's going to be all right. That laid on my heart and that impression on my heart after I heard her testimony about her being up all night. So I... I kept on my wife all day. 
And you need to call your mom back and ask her what time that happened. <laughs> what time was it when she couldn't lay down when she realized I might as well get up and walk the floor because I can't go to sleep. Yeah. And it was long about 8.30. <laughs> Amen. Whenever that hit her, she couldn't, yeah. she couldn't sleep. Let me tell you, God is still good and He's still in control. So many times we want to underestimate His power. So yeah. many times we want to underestimate what, we, what He can do. But let me tell you, without faith it is impossible to please God. Faith is what it takes. It. You want to talk about if we had faith just as the size of a mustard seed? Hey, we could we could move mountains. Yeah. Hey, we can raise the dead. Amen. Ain't a thing we can't do. Save the Lord. Amen. 